All right, Shalom. I want to start off with giving all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rekai Kodash. want to get double honor to the apostles, the elders, great millstone, and peace, blessing, and scientists to the whole like the Israel. This is the brother Zakaria. By Yah. You know, we wanted to go into um, a lesson on um, the Lord is about to purge this place. The Lord is about to purge, you know, this planet Earth, man. They say he shall visit the world which he made. You know, the Lord is about to uh, make his second coming, man, unto this world that these people is not is not looking forward to, man. You know, but Lord, when the lessons are edifying, I'm gonna, we gonna jump right into it. The second Ezra is fifteen and one. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Right, and and and, and that's what we're doing now. You know, the Lord has woken us up out of our graves and gave us the breath of life, man. This truth. You know, we speaking unto you the words of prophecy, the words of Yahweh by Shemuel And one of those, uh, one of the, and one of those things is his return, man. We tell you that the Lord is about to return. He's about to come back and judge this place, man. He's about to purge this place out, man. He's about to destroy all wickedness off the face of the earth. Keep going. And cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right. It, it's, it's written in the paper. We reading what's written in the scriptures, man. It's faithful and true. You, you can't do nothing against the truth or, or, but for it, man. Mm -hmm. You know, these words that we are speaking are faithful and true because these are the words of the Heavenly Father, man, and His Son. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right. So hear what these people say, you know. The Lord said he made our, our, our head is like flint. He made our head harder than theirs. He didn't give us the spirit of fear, you know. So fuck what these people think and say. Mm -hmm. It says, um, behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plague. It's like in verse 4. Mm -hmm. For all the unfaithful shall die in the unfaithfulness. Right. If you don't believe, you ain't got faith to hell with you. Mm -hmm. Scripture says, fret not thyself because of evil doers, man. Right. And the triumphant of the wicked is but for a moment. That goes for the actual wicked, Esau, Edom, and other nations. Mm -hmm. Cause they living deliciously, they living it up because off us, the Israelites, and the wicked of our nation, man, that's living deliciously, they living it up, and never see their constellations. Yep. Where it says, verse five: Behold, say of the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness have polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Right, it's fulfilled. You know, and he say, her sins have reached unto the heavens. You know, the Lord, the, the, this place had a, got a measurement, you know, mm -hmm. it got bounds that they cannot pass, you know, and the Lord, they, they and, 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 and we starting to see the peak of that measurement, man, where the Lord is about to ultimately hit the hit that button, man, to, to, to bring those plagues, that destruction, that famine, man, unto this place, man, mm -hmm. you know, and that's what these people are not prepared for. They're not prepared for the famine. We, we in the midst of that now. Mm -hmm. They're not prepared for, for death and destruction. We in the midst of that now, you know. It says, therefore, thus saith the Lord, mm -hmm. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profane, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me and the souls of the just complain continually. All right. Who the ones crying out? Who crying out to the Lord about the, for, the, for these abominable works that's being fulfilled in our face, man? Who's the one crying out, man? The, the ones you see on the highways and byways, man. Week in and week out. Mm -hmm. It says, um, verse 9, And therefore saith the Lord, I will event, sure, it says, verse 9, And therefore saith the Lord, Yahweh, I will surely avenge them mm -hmm. and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Yep, if we ain't got to do nothing. The Lord going to avenge us. The Lord going to redeem us. Like, the Lord going to fight for us, man. Mm -hmm. You know? We ain't, ain't got to get cornered with these people in, the, in, the, in, the, in Esau, man. The Lord going to fight for us, man. That's right. Verse 10, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Mm -hmm. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand. And they stretched out arm and will smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Right. So in the midst of the Lord delivering his men, delivering those that believe, men, women, and children also, he also going to bring the destruction as well. You know, it said the salvation of the righteous and the, and the destruction of the enemies, man. It says that in the Apocrypha, mm -hmm. you know. Yep, it says verse fourteen. I'll we'll jump down. Woe unto the world and them that dwell therein, mm -hmm. for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Just like on the purge, like, people with hey, Jake gonna be out here purging, man. Esau gonna be out here purging. <laughs> Jake gonna be out here purging oh. all around. Yeah, how about Shemal Shai gonna put the spirit on Esau Edom, who yep. is his sword, 
to bring punishment and lay out fury, man. That's right. O -o -am amongst many other things, man. Yep. Like it says in Revelation 12 and 12, the devil has come down unto you, have a good wrath, because he knows that he has but a short time. Yeah, that's right. You know? This Sirach 39 and 28, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, and in their fury lay on sore strokes. And in the time of their destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Everybody on the planet Earth is spirits created for vengeance. Mm. Even the elect. That's right. Fire and hell and famine, death, all these were created for vengeance. Mm -hmm. Teeth of wild beasts, scorpions, serpents, and so sword punishing the wicked to destruction. That's right. Punishing the wicked to destruction. That's right. You know, these devils not going to get away, man. They're not going to get away with their punishment, man. Mm -hmm. Like like the like the brother brought out, man. That hurtful works off the field, man. That's right. They time is up, man. It's time to get judged. Mm -hmm. Back in Second Ezra fifteen and sixteen, for there shall be seditions among men, and evading one another, they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Fuck the law. Is all men? Everybody is is free for all. Lawless. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. The law is not gonna stand in that day, man. Because this, the Lord is in control of this, man. The Lord say he controls good and evil. I, the mm -hmm. Lord, do all these things. The scripture say, shall I be evil in the city and the Lord had not done it? This is all being controlled by Yahweh by Shema Shai. And we see these things playing out in our time more uh, uh, abundantly, more speedily than ever, which proves we're at the end seeing the more chariot sightings, man. The more spiritual encounters, man. The, yep. the more brothers waking up and believing, you know. It says, verse uh, 19. Uh, Salak, I'm going to read verse 17. Second Ezra 15 and 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yep, martial law, mm -hmm. checkpoints, dead ends. Mm -hmm. All these things are going to be fulfilled, man. And, and, it's, and you see we in the midst of that now. Yep, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and man shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with a sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yep, lack of bread, no food, food shortages. You, you yep. see, the, we in the midst of that too. Prices you going know, up. Prices going up. Jay going to be evading one another. They going to be breaking in people's houses, man. Mm hmm I got a preset real quick. Mm-hmm. This is Ezekiel 9 and verse, um, so like it's internet. This is Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. And the Lord, Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah, said unto him, Go, and this is a vision that, uh, this is a vision Ezekiel was receiving, man, concerning future things to take place. Which the angels of the Lord is going to perform And also the men that believe Who's going to get that power as well To perform these things as well right. And this is the vision that Ezekiel's literally seen That's going to take place This is uh, uh, Ezekiel 9 and 4 And the Lord said unto him Go through the midst of the city Through the midst of Jerusalem And set a mark upon the foreheads of the man that sigh And that cry for all the abominations That be done in the midst thereof And that's what it is man Because hey, how about Shemal Shai Have a select group of men that's going to receive that mark. When you look that word mark up, it goes into the uh, the wah, which means exempt from judgment. That's right. So like the brother said, the men that's destined to get saved for the salvation, the rest is getting destruction, man, which is going to that's get right. caught up in this Persian. And it says, um, and set a mark upon the force of men that sign and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. That's the just complaining continually, which will be avenged. Verse 5, and to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city. And smite, let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. Slay utterly old and young, both maids and little children and women, but come not near any man upon whom is the mark, and begin at my sanctuary. Then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. All right, show no mercy. Mm -hmm. Show no mercy on those that don't have that exempt from judgment. Mm -hmm. You know, purge them all, destroy them all. They're going to get caught up in everything. Everybody's going to get huh? caught up. The scripture said the Lord coming like a thief in the night. He's going to catch you scratching your ass, man. All right, Jake, too, I'm talking to you so-called Negroes, Latino, Native Americans, man. Mm -hmm. Y'all ain't prepared for what's to come. Y'all ain't looking on what's to come. Y'all think mm -hmm. this thing going to continue on, man. Looking for a continual city here, man. That's right. It says, and he said, uh, uh, Salak, and he said unto them, the, oh, Salak, that's, yeah, that's it. I got the other one. You got, uh, you got one? Yeah, I got one. Come on. I'm going to put Ezekiel 2. Uh, this is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, and I'm going to start at 1. It said, but of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. 
for yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then so destruction cometh upon them as travail upon woman with child, and they shall not escape. It's going to be like birth pains, man. We in the middle of it. We in the midst of that. You know, the, the, this place is about to get ready to be born, man. It's about to be touched, man. This the, the, That old virgin daughter of Babylon, man, you know, who ought to be destroyed. Mm -hmm. And it says, um, it say, and they shall not escape. They're not go You're not going to escape the destruction, man. You're not going to escape the destruction that, that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has set upon these, uh, upon this place, man. And the people that dwell therein, that do wickedly. Verse 4, it say, but ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day shall overtake you as a thief. We not, who got the light? The, 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 the man of the Lord, man. Lord, where we part of that number, man. We the ones with the light. We not a darkness, man. And it says, ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others. So, I mean, you got to be watching, man. You know, you got to be looking at the signs of the times. And they say, but let us watch and be sober for they that sleep, sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. For the most I have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You know, so we got to put on the whole armor of the Lord, man. You know, that's right. Yeah. In the midst of these things, because the Lord will protect us. You know, like they say, uh, those that uh, the angels are camping around those that fear Him and deliver them. The mm -hmm. Lord gonna deliver us in these in this time, man. This is the time where the Lord is about to make His appearance when He purged this place out, man. We're gonna be protected. He said, "My servant shall eat while you shall be hungry. My servant shall drink while you shall be thirsty, man." You know, while you went to the house to feast, and then we went to the house to morning. You gonna be in the house to morning. And we gonna be in the house to feast in that time, man. When this tribulation come, when this purge and the destruction, and this wrath come upon the, when the Lord bring upon this place. That's right. Oh, uh, uh, it says, um, I got one real quick. This is Ezekiel. This is Ezekiel chapter five and verse. Um, this is Ezekiel chapter five and verse five. Thus saith the Lord God, there is is there is Jerusalem. I have set it in the midst of the nations and countries that are round about her. And she have changed my judgments into wickedness more than the nations and my statues more than the countries that are round about her. For they have refused my judgment and my statues. They have not walked in them. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, because ye multiply more than the nations that are round, uh, Salak, because ye multiply more than the nations that are round about you and have not walked in my statues, neither have kept my judgments, neither have done according to the judgments of the, of the nations that are round about you. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, behold, I, even I am against thee and will execute judgment in the midst of thee and the sight of the nations. And I will do in thee that which I have not done. And one, two, I will not do any more the like because of all thine abominations. And thy father shall eat. So like, it says, and the fathers shall uh, eat the sons in the midst of thee, and the sons shall eat their fathers. And I'll execute judgment in thee, and the whole remnant of thee will I scatter into all the winds. So this is a prophecy that took place upon our people, but it's going to come again, like the scripture says, like the day like no other, man. That's just kind of like what you're saying. No, no, I'm just giving scriptures. No, you go ahead. Because you say, um, he scattered us amongst the winds, man. That's mm -hmm. the four corners. And the nations. You know, and, yep, and that's what the Lord is going to deliver us from. He yep. said, he shall guide us alike from the four winds of the earth. Mm -hmm. You know, so we in the midst of of of, our, of a wicked generation, which is our people. You so-called yep. Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and also these other nations. Yep, and the Lord's come to deliver his elect, those that's predestined, those that's complaining continually, you know, and walking in his wisdom, in his word, truthfully and honestly. He's going to deliver them, man. Everybody else is going to get caught up in this purging process, man. Yep, this destruction that's coming upon this place. And that's what the prophets always prophesied about and brought the yep. message to warn our people. Always. To instill always. that fear. You know, because the, the scripture says it's going to be like a time never before, ever since it was a nation, man. Yep. Uh, you know, this, this is the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Right. And who is that he? The elect in the, in, in the one third, man. Mm -hmm. It is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but right. he shall be saved out of it. That's right. Yeah. And that's what it is, man. Hey, the elect is going to be saved out of it and during Jacob's trouble, man. Yep. The Lord is going to kill everybody else. The scripture says that, man. Hey, slay early, old and young, man. Yep, it said that's righteous. Slay. Since you yeah, didn't want to take <laughs> since you didn't want to take the mercy, since you didn't have faith, you know the scripture says the same as Noah, death by pain. Say when it was yet liberty, you know. A yeah, place of repentance was opened unto them, mm -hmm. despised it not. Yep. 
Hey, hey, that's the judgment coming for the wicked, man. But long as we keep fighting, believing in how about Shem Al Shai, we're going to escape that day, man. All right, because the scriptures say the slain of the Lord shall be many. Mm -hmm. You know, it say he shall plead with all flesh. And when you go into that word plead, it goes to judge. You know, mm -hmm. the Lord is about to judge this, this, this place, man. The Lord is fed up. Yeah, how was your pot, man? Yeah, how was judgment? He's, he's, the Lord is ready to obliterate this place and, and establish righteousness on the planet Earth, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really it I have. Unless we got one. So, Lord, who's less was edifying, want to give all praises and glory on the two. Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, Rekak, Wadash. Double on the side, elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom, I'll tell you, brothers, that stand boldly for this word. Shalom. Wah, ba, ba, ba.